M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So, if you're setting up APRS Digital on a DMR radio, chances are you're going to need to go to somewhere like Brandmeister. I'll show you what my settings are. So here's Brandmeister here, just put that into your search, brandmeister.network. I'll put a link in the description. And then you may need to create yourself an account, so just go ahead and create an account. And when you do, you'll have your own little tab here up on the right. So what you do is click self-care. Now at this point, you should have already created a security password, which would go down here on the left. So here, make up a password, save it. And whenever you use um, your hotspot, you'll need to put in that same password for it to go through Brandmeister. So we're going to show you the APRS digital settings that you need to do. Now in this case, it's at any tone radio. So we've actually selected Motorola but in many cases, you will just be selecting Chinese radio. I've got the Alience HD1. I'm pretty sure quite a few other budget DMR radios like the GD88, possibly the RT3. But anyway, so quite often it'll be Chinese radio. But in this case, it's Mo Motorola. APRS interval, that's up to you. Uh, obviously, whatever is advised. I've just got two minutes for now. That's quite short. I'd probably increase it to about 300 but I tend to just do it manually anyway manual APRS just means that you decide when you're going to TX APRS uh, receive wise is decided by the sender and then APRS call sign also get your call sign in there most people use nine I think I've just got six there so I recognize it in a test language English and then here a small message APRS text message Anytone BT01 Andreas because I'm testing the new BT01 Bluetooth microphone um, air security off, off, off. All these are off. We don't I don't use these. And then just save. So that's important. And I've only got one hotspot turned on at the moment here. So if I click my devices and click on the left, I can get some info there as well for my hotspot. We don't need to change that. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And then you go over to your code plug. And this is where you'll be putting in settings now. I'll, I'll link in a video of a complete setup. But these are my settings for at the bottom here, analog, which is on, in, in the UK, is 145.800. I need to save 145.800. I think, is it 390 in the USA? Like so, and just click OK. And then we, we, you're using a reporting channel, so you have to choose that. And a, a, a APRS talk group. But this is all in my other video, just looking at it now. and. See, all my manual TX interval, that's off here at the moment because we're not doing that. That's set to zero. That means, I think, if you manually TX, there would be a pause before you can do it again. And I've got a pause to zero. There's your auto one there, which we're not using. Fixed location I'm using. As you can see, there's location data there. Look, lat lat latitude, longitude. Just click OK and then save that. Right, well, that's it for now. I hope this helps you with really the Brandmeister settings. Bye for now. Please remember to like or subscribe. And both, 7-3.